This is gonna be for the scapula Y, so this puts the, the scapula in a true lateral projection. When it's in an AP projection, the scapula is naturally in an oblique because it curves around the bony thorax. So in order for us to get the scapula in a true lateral, you're gonna rotate the patient by anywhere between 45 and 60 degrees to ensure that the borders of the scapula, the vertebral border and the lateral border are perpendicular to the IR. So you'll roll up the patient, you can palpate those borders. If you need to, you can have the patient bring their arm back so you can better identify those. The center ray is gonna be two inches from the top of the shoulder. And typically I find if you have your CR at the center of the center of your humerus, then you're pretty much rotated enough for the scapula Y. Now just know that the affected side, if you're doing a posterior oblique, is going to be the upside. If you do anterior oblique, it's gonna be the downside. So I'll show you real quick. So right here, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and have it centered. And then I can just go ahead and close this a little bit more side to side. You can keep her arm down like it is here, or you can just put it down by the side. Or if the patient is preferring to hold their arm, they can hold it up like this. Now, if you're doing a scapula for, a scapula wipe for the scapula, for the actual bone, your arm has to come out across because you don't want the humerus superimposing the borders of the scapula. But if you're doing the scapula wipe for the shoulder, you, the arm doesn't matter where it's gonna be because they're looking at the articulation of the humeral head, the clavicle, and the scapula. So this is the left, so I've got the left. If I was doing the anterior oblique for the scapula Y, and I'm just gonna change shoulders just for the sake of showing this, you're going to internally rotate the patient, still need to have the borders perpendicular to one another, okay? So you can still imagine having your, the center of your humerus here, but always make sure that you're palpating to ensure that your uh, borders are perpendicular. And then you skim the part, okay? So now the center right is skimming the part here. And then I'll just put my marker, and this is now the right, Typically what's done is the posterior oblique, and the posterior oblique is typically done because you're not changing sides. When you do the AP, whether you do the AP internal or external or the scapula Y, your shoulder is gonna stay on the same side of where you were working. When you turn the patient to an AP, now you've gotta switch um, your markers. And this is actually the better one to do because it reduces um, radiation to the mammary glands, the lens of the eye, and the thyroid. However, most of your clinical sites, they do the AP, which is gonna cause more magnification and um, less resolution, but they do the AP because it is easier to identify where you need to enter.